Oggi io vedo eh, un momento importante, un passo avanti importante eh, dopo le decisioni del Consiglio dei Governatori annunciate dal Presidente Draghi eh, verso una eh, governance dell'Eurozona più soddisfacente. Here at the Ambrosetti Forum at the Villa d'Este on Lake Como, business leaders and politicians also welcomed Mario Draghi's latest plan. But they started the day with a relatively downbeat assessment of the economic situation, not just here in Europe, but in the US and China. Well, I don't think that uh, the, the, the BCE has, uh, uh, has a big impact in changing the prospects uh, of, the, of the overall microeconomic environment. The macroeconomic environment has uh, worsened, uh, has softened or worsened in many uh, places around the world. I think that the most uh, worrisome thing is that uh, it has spread, uh, uh, the softening has spread all over the, 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 the world, including China and the emerging markets, where so far, or at least in the first half of the years of the year, the conditions were still very positive. The market response suggested investors are optimistic. On Friday, the FTSE Euro First 300 was up again, having bounced strongly on Thursday after Mr Draghi's announcement. The S&P 500 also rose, reaching its highest level since May 2008. Bond yields in Italy and Spain have fallen. The yield on Spanish two-year bonds fell to a level last seen in April, and Italian two-year bond yields fell below 2.5%. If we begin to get a sense that the euro crisis is coming under control, and this is certainly part of creating that sense, it may recreate confidence. The big issue, I think, in terms of investment strategy is not the absence of capital, not the absence of resource to invest. Companies are holding back because of the uncertainties surrounding the euro and have been doing so for a considerable period of time. So by the demonstration at national level and at European level of a resolution to get this whole euro issue under control, we can re-stimulate the economy to growth. There is one uh, very important improvement that has taken place that it could, could, be, a, uh, could be anticipating improvements uh, in, the, in the overall microeconomic situation. And this is the equity market. Equities uh, have, uh, uh, have been uh, increasing uh, in value in the last, uh, the last couple of months. So I think that the financial market sentiment has changed. And uh, I think that this is a, a, an early indicator that something may improve also in the real economy. Any return of confidence, though, to the Eurozone would help European business, which has found it increasingly difficult to access credit as the Eurozone crisis has worsened. I think that, uh, uh, per se, these measures uh, do not automatically improve access to credit because there is, uh, I think there is a lot to do in the banking sector. But I think that certainly this paves the way for a better environment um, in uh, credit availability to companies which has been uh, one of the biggest problems we have been facing in the last uh, months, uh, perhaps in the last two or three years. Uh, especially small and medium-sized companies have suffered very much from this uh, lack of credit availability. And uh, if the situation co becomes uh, a little bit more relaxed on the financial side, I think that this will certainly improve uh, the access to credit. So while companies and policymakers here at Ambrosetti have generally agreed that the latest moves by the ECB were extremely helpful, there was also general consensus that much more remained to be done. The nature of the problems facing the Eurozone and the global economy are well known, but a wide range of policy prescriptions were offered in response, some of them contradictory. Some speakers advocated much greater integration among the Eurozone countries, from banking union to fiscal union. I believe that banking union is necessary. I believe that uh, we have greater economic union is necessary. And I believe that this necessarily means greater political union. Others suggested merely ensuring that current policy was actually implemented. But it is impossible to avoid the impression that without further serious progress by European policymakers, the relief Mr Draghi has provided to markets may well prove only temporary. Sarah Gordon, Financial Times, Chernobyl.